And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Anivia Undying. We're going to try um, some Anivia Gluttony Control um, with the Undying. The Undying is going to be in here that can just also put like another threat that's really hard to kill that we're just going to be hitting our opponent with every single turn attacking with this while we um, try to kill everything. You know, we're going to be trying to kill everything with Avalanche, the box, Withering Whale, doing all, all that uh, just damage to all their stuff. Anivia, of course, attacking, dealing one damage to all of our enemies, and Ruination as well. So we're just killing everything, and then having the Undying smash in against them turn after turn. But of course, we're also going to be a Gluttony combo deck with Anivia. So we're, our goal is to Gluttony away Anivia and put Rekindler into play, which of course will then just uh, revive the strongest dead allied champion, which will be Anivia. So we'll put Anivia back into play. Um, so we're going to have that combo, which is awesome. Um, we can also use Gluttony in two other ways. We can kill Averroes and Sentry to put the Undying into play, or we can kill the Undying and put Babbling Bjerg into play. Now, we, we do have, end up having three four-cost units, so sometimes we'll get Spirit Leech, but should hopefully get Babbling Bjerg most of the time. Spirit Leech, is, I think, is a little too good just not to play in this kind of deck, like where you can kill the Undying and draw two cards and get the 4-1 body in play. It's very useful, basically being a 4-1 you know, draw 2 when you play it. Very, very useful. So we got one copy of that in. Babbling Bjerg is going to be drawing us Ledros, and so we're going to have the Ledros Atrocity combo um, for the late games and for other con slower control decks and everything like that to help finish games out fast. We'll have that Ledros Atrocity combo. Atrocity, of course, also works pretty well with the Undying if we're killing the Undying a bunch. Um, that's that's kind of our deck. You know, We got an Entreat to draw another Anivia. We don't, we're not playing any other champions in here besides Anivia, and that's that's uh, some of that's just kind of a um, concession to Rekindler, because Rekindler revives the strongest dead ally champion. So if we play like Thresh or Kindred or so, another champion, and then that champion dies, then Rekindler will just put in you know Thresh or, or Kindred, you know, put in those champions. But we want Rekindler to put in Anivia, so that's why we're uh, not really going with any other champion. All right, but let's get to it. Let's give it a try. Anivia Undying. Should be pretty good against aggressive decks with all of the area of effect removal. Ooh. They're going big, Trundle Sejuani. With Shadow Wiles. All right, so Ledros always gets mulliganed 100% of the time. And I'm going to mulligan the Ruination, but... Ruination does seem like it could be really good here. Like, I could see this being a Field of Rush deck. With those champions. Like, so... Us having Ruination for Field of Rush would be really nice. But we don't need it in our opener. We do need to find... See the border. Lucky. I'd love to find something like Avaros and Sentry. Warm hearts and hmm. We got a good hand to start with. This is pretty embarrassing. Okay, first trundle down. Forever. Looks like we're playing Anivia. <laughs> Don't have to worry about struggling finding Anivia. Don't have to worry about that. I'm going to do this. Uh, I was hoping that they would respond and then I would afterwards gluttony. Because I feel like if I gluttony first, they definitely respond. Leave your bags at the door. Nothing escapes my watch. Cool. 
not a bad card. Alright, so probably casting Harsh Winds. I just don't need to use this Ruination over one Trundle. Yeah, our hand feels pretty awkward, but we're not dead yet. Alright, so plus three. So there's only one card in their hand, you know, the two ice pillars, obviously, so there's only one other one. That That's an expensive card, so they only have one total like ruination or feel the rush or anything like that. Okay, well it's feel the rush. That's why I waited on ruination. They were a field to rush deck. Doesn't mean I do need to ruination. I am priced into casting ruination this turn. Oh, uh, I should have just attacked with one of them and challenged the Ice Pillar, right? I, I didn't want them to die, but I should have challenged the Ice Pillar. So this will be two Trundles dead, one Sejuani dead. That's scary. That's scary. Pass turn. Don't avalanche, pass turn. What are you doing? File feast? No, not avalanche. Hey, mind splitter. So we've killed all three Trundles, right? So like if they don't have, yeah. Because they played one Trundle, we Vengeanced, and they played another Trundle, and then Feel the Rush, another Trundle, and they'll play, and we just Ruination those two. So we have killed every Trundle. So we yeah, still have seven mana left. No. That's the card I couldn't quite beat though. They had a second Sejuani, another Overwhelm. Very awkward removal. So let's see, I guess. I guess I have to do this and hope to draw, you know, Withering Will, Grass the Undying, something that keeps me alive. Vile Feast just doesn't quite keep me alive so close. Go to exact zero. Well, I did good for saving Ruination, you know, I saved Ruination for the Field of Rush, but our hand was just really awkward just that whole time. All right, Braum Vladimir is up next. This is a deck where Ruination is awesome against, for sure, and just hard removal spells, awesome. 
you're gone, and you're gone. I guess we need, we kind of need Anivia, but Anivia, this is not a good matchup for Anivia, because they, yeah, I don't want Anivia here. So the reason to keep these two would be so we go find Babbling Beard. We can just draw Babbling Beard. Let's just get rid of all these. Yeah, we can just draw Babbling Beard. Because I think this is one where we're going to have to rely on Ledros more. Attacking into Scar Grounds, not a good... Not a good appealing option. Yeah, so we would we would have glutton need for Babbling Beard. That's if I would have kept that. That would have been the plan. Maybe it's possible they don't have Troll Chance or anything like that. So basically I was going to be playing the box anyway to kill the Mighty Poro. Alright, so that's the Braum taking a ton more damage. That's not good. Where's Vengeance and Ruination? The two cards that I really wanted that, you know, I mulliganed my whole hand. I was looking for Vengeance and Ruination. Especially Ruination. Can we find Ruination, please? We cannot. Good hand opponent. Man, our deck has looked so awkward both these games. <laughs> Just... I guess both games we've drawn all three Anivias. And multiple glimpse beyonds, and it just looks so awkward. Up. Really? That must be nice. Yeah, I mean, I guess I should have just played the Anivia to block. Because I should have. Always. I was hoping not to spend that much mana so that we could draw Ruination and be able to play it, but we're not going to draw Ruination. Let's be real. I... I, I mean, Braum Vladimir is good. This, this deck is good. I definitely have a low win rate against this deck. Since this expansions came out, I don't. Yeah, I would not say that this is a bad deck at all. They seem to always just have Scargrounds, Braum, Vladimir, and I lose just every single, every single game. Yeah, I can't actually stay alive. Cause see, like, cause this scar, this this thing grows after a frostbite. Yeah, that that deck always looks great. So maybe we'll win two out of three. Maybe we'll go two and three. All right, deep. All right, another hand of mulligan everything. Okay, prediction started now. Undying, please. Yay! Finally! First game. <laughs> we have the we actually have the Undying on turn three. It makes a lot of the other cards in our deck look a lot better. Oh, I'm jealous. They have the treasure card. I want the treasure card. 
I don't really care to attack into that thing. Okay, we found a Nivea. Definitely going to be continuing to search for Ruination. Also, when they play a bunch of sea monsters. So we got two gluttonies to go with Anivia. We could get a lot of Anivias in play. Mm. Yay. Yeah, I have 10 cards in hand, so the pressure's on me to play something first, so they can pass to me, see what I do. I will endure. Certainly considering just letting them eat that. Yeah, I, I can gluttony it away, I can Vile Feast the 4-4. Four -four. But I am gonna I'm gonna want room. Alright, fine, we'll save it. Cause like I said, I don't really want to be sacrificing my Anivias yet. I wanna be a little bit closer to enlightened before I do all that crazy stuff. This is what I mean about, like, maybe not saving that Undying, and now I have this other Spiderling that's in the way also. Can't have too many things in the way. I get Maokai down to two. In cold get that spider out of here. And make these Undying's 4-4s. Four so all that is good stuff. Ooh, Kill Breaker. They do have another Maokai in hand, they can do the Maokai Champion spell. Hmm, I guess that's a thing. A thing I wasn't really considering. I expected that 0-1 to die. 
but not yet. Ooh. Playworm egg. Yeah, that's that's the thing is we have to we have to worry about open attacks, and I can't just like ruination because then they just spend the five mana spell and get three eight eights, and um, you know, could also like play like a Nautilus and get three eight eights. This play where make pretty rough, because usually this would be a really good ruination spot, but this yeah, that's pretty rough. The triple eight eights. I mean if if we do yeah, so if we don't ruination we die, if we do ruination we die, right? Because they get the eight eights. How how can I possibly stay alive from an open attack with eight eights? So if I cast ruination I, I die. If if I don't cast it I die. So this this should just be me dying. Anivia can't block. Anivia's dead. I played the two one, hoping that they would play it first. You know, like that. That I think that was like my best choice. They rekindle. So like that's the thing is, I if I rekindle her, it doesn't matter because like that. They have the they have the sea monster that whenever it attacks it you know gives all their stuff fearsome and all my stuff minus two minus zero so that doesn't work either so I just I didn't have any out I, and I guess I did I did with just drawing another rekindle or like actually if I just don't cast ruination I actually drew the entreat I didn't have entreat in my hand did I whenever I did that no I drew the entreat off of the two one dying. Because Entreat is, is you know, like, that would if I would have kept the Anivia in play and just not cast Ruination, Entreat actually would have kept me alive. I think I basically just kind of re resigned myself to being the worst gluttony player in the world. <laughs> We've probably played like, I don't know, 10 different gluttony decks and I don't think I've even, I think I've gone 0 and 5 or 1 and 4 in every, every single time. I don't think I've won 2 games out of 5 with a gluttony deck. Alright, well, we do have Ledros Atrocity combo. That can certainly win a game. Say this gluttony for next turn to go along with the Anivia. Something ancient stirs. We will not suffer unbelievers. They will not escape punishment. Devotion to battle. They're coming! Hi! 
Going down to seven. One candle for every Attack. No mercy for heretics. The guilty will bear. Strike them down. Okay, we're doing stuff. Oh well, we were doing stuff. As it will forever, my dear. Hopefully they can't just get multiple of these final sparks and kill me with the overwhelm. Harsh wins for this turn. Next turn, Ledros. Turn after Atrocity. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Harsh wins plus Glimpse Beyond. That'll put me down to four. With the final spark. And I know I could have glimpsed, I could have glimpsed you on like this Agnivia so they didn't get to final spark it, but then they still, I still would have had like this 4 1 for them to final spark. Whoa, the 3 2. Alright, that saves me 2 life, so we're only down to 5. It's a little better. Good news, they can't spend six mana of spells right now. Face my shield. Okay, level up Anivia. Hey, Osmond. So I got four blockers for their four attackers. Oh, that's not so good. No, that's not so good at all. So 13 mana. Oh, yeah, you think I should have just gone for the 13 upstairs? That's probably just a better play than what I'm doing here. Just going for the 13. That's probably just a better play.
Yeah, I mean, because they only have one mana. Yeah, that's that's what I should have done. I don't know why I didn't really think of that. <laughs> I guess I, I forgot about... Yeah, I guess I just forgot about having the four power thing to do the other little bit of damage. I don't know why I was so focused on... Um, on this. Yeah, that, that was definitely a better play. Yeah, just playing the, the two atrocities. Yep. Misplay by me. I was too tunnel visioned into stay, you know, staying alive and killing their stuff. do have an Aurelian Soul for another champion. Which, of course, we know that doesn't matter because I have another Ledros. I'm happy to get that Hush out of their hand and just, you know, like all that kind of stuff. You know, I'm happy for that. gonna pass. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. No attacks. Alright, they attacked. Okay, let's see if we can keep this going. Falling Comet does not get rid of my Undying. This Undying's still here. Still putting in work. Uh, yes, our deck is... Yes, I would agree that our deck has felt very clunky and inconsistent. This game should have been a win, right? I had I had lethal with the two atrocities with them having the one mana. So I should have won this game. We could sacrifice the Undying... To grow the undying, but this would I don't know, this keeps the fury from happening. It's not much. The yeah, like Anivia attacks for two, like deals two damage. And so then Atrocity does another five. But we see they have lots and lots of Nexus healing. So I wouldn't necessarily say that it's just, you know, le that it's lethal. I think I'm going this. We each died, then found hope. Daylight breaks on the back. Behold the sun's holy so that stuns light. the Undying. Kids. Considering playing another Undying, they won't have Daybreak anymore. No, we saved the spell mana. Snow, wind, and ice. Be quiet. You abject failure. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't. The pill cascade just cycled, didn't do anything else. G, hello. Yeah, I wish I would have just won this game a long time ago <laughs> when I had the opportunity. Um, but we are close. Oh, so close. I was worried about, like, yeah, attacking with the Rekindler of, like, letting it die to something. Alright, so for so six mana, or sorry, 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 sorry. So four mana. Or Hush is an option if I go for the Undying Atrocity kill. I don't know if Ruination's my safest play. No, it's definitely not my safest play. My safest play is... Pass? This is the only card that lets me keep Ruination available. Cool. And that should finally be game. I think. Discipline and conviction. Alright, maybe not. Hooray! I didn't have to ever atrocity lethal, even though I, I passed up multiple times on atrocity lethal. Kindred with Demacia? Demacia's cool. Kindred's cool. Alright, you get mulliganed every game no matter what. Especially because we'll have like the... It's basically like, like we just kept that Ledros also because the Bjerg's going to draw the Ledros. And we'll have Entreat. Draw Anivia. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. No, I need one more mana. Ah, uh, just wait, wait a turn before you do that. The box is set up perfectly to deal with that. These old eyes still see far and clear. Light the signal fires. Cool. Basically, I just want to keep. My mana. I think that we're going to need that mana. Up there in the mountains. Yuck. Look up there. Never one. Without the other. Dang. The card deck's always just so awkward. If they have if they have glimpse beyond, I'd, I'm just like super dead. I'm already pretty dead. Last time I played the box, it was incredible. This time playing the box, it has been horrible. Well, we can always pray for Withering Whale. I think I've had three 1v1s redeemed before. It's a newer thing. No matter what I grasp, it's lethal.
so that, there we go. There was our Anivia Undying deck. Yeah, just nothing lined up. You know, sometimes, like, with these Shadow Isles cards, you do need, like, your cards to line up, right? And it's just, like, when we needed the box, we would have Withering Whale, um, you know, whenever we need to be able to deal three damage. Or, like, whenever we have the box, we would need Withering Whale. You know, like, it's, it's it was just, like, that kind of day, right? Like, it was just nothing really lined up. Um, and it was just pretty awkward. But so many of these games, we would just be sitting our... Like, basically, we would always just have all of our Glimpse Beyonds and Gluttonies. We drew tons of Glimpse Beyonds and tons of Gluttonies. And we would just be sitting with, like, those. And then, like, our, our, our hand was always just, like, two Glimpse Beyonds, like, two Gluttonies, and, like, three Anivias. And our opponent's just playing stuff, and we're just dying, <laughs> right? So it was, it was really, really awkward, like, in that kind of sense. I think that just going with kind of more normal Anivia um control would be better here of just get rid of you know get get rid of like some of this stuff and just play more removal early on and more blockers removal and ramp and that kind of stuff um i just i i just don't get gluttony i just i just don't get gluttony on dying i i have lots I, and i feel bad i'm sorry i I, I do feel bad. I mean, lots of people keep donating different gluttony undying decks for me, and I just, I just I can't win with any of them. And I, I just don't. It, it just doesn't. I don't know. I, I don't. It. Undying just doesn't feel very good, right? Like that's. I think that's just kind of what it is. It's just the undying just does not feel like it's a, a good enough card. Um, it, basically, the reason why is because it can't block, and it makes it makes your combat completely one-sided where where the opponent gets to like block with their stuff they get to attack with their stuff they get to be playing every single round their units are doing stuff where my unit my undyings are only doing stuff one of the two rounds and it's just it it puts a huge hindrance on the on uh, your decisions and just what the deck can do and everything like that but anyway i don't i don't have like a, a lot of suggestions really for this deck um but that doesn't mean it can't be improved upon. But I just don't. I just don't know what the suggestion is, and um, you know, I'm sorry about that. So those of y'all watching on on YouTube, if you have, if any anybody watch on YouTube, if you have been playing Anivia and Undying and Gluttony, if you have played these three cards and you've had any kind of success, you know, throw feel free to throw your list out there um, in the comments. Talk about what what to do. How do you make how do you make Gluttony, Undying, and Anivia all work together? in a list i'd be interested in hearing about that um but uh yeah but that's all i got here for this one all right so that's anivia undying um again those of y'all on youtube you know make sure to hit the like button also besides leaving those comments i would appreciate that but i also really appreciate y'all watching so thanks very much for doing that and i will see you for the next video